What's going on guys? I'm back. It's Darian with Darian the Dev. And in this video, I'm going to tell you guys about how I recently passed the Microsoft Azure AZ900 exam and you guys can too. So you guys are brand new to the channel. If you're into tech, entrepreneurship, coding, or startups, or anything like that, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. That's all we talk about here on the channel. It helps me really stay motivated to put this content out for you guys. So it's been a crazy busy week, which would explain why I haven't posted in about a week, but I recently have been studying and just prepping to take this Microsoft Azure AZ 900 exam. And I actually failed it the very first time that I took it. And then I passed it on the second attempt. And that's why I wanted to make this video because I want to save you guys some of the studying pains and just give you some of the tips and things that I saw in the exam or things that could have better helped me prepare to pass on the, the first attempt. Let's just talk about a little background. If you guys don't know what the Microsoft Azure AZ900 exam is to begin with. When we're talking about cloud services, guys, just think about all the things that make up the hardware of an actual IT department or company, meaning the servers and the routers and all the actual hardware infrastructure that makes up an IT department. All that stuff now, you know, as we come into the modern era of software development, applications and stuff like that, all this stuff is no longer needed to be in-house. You don't have to physically take care of your servers and maintain them and keep the, you know, rooms and temperatures you know, at a certain, you know, temp and everything for them to not shut down on you and manually route and wire up a network. All that stuff is now abstracted away to cloud services. And Microsoft is just one of many cloud service providers. So there's Microsoft, Azure, there's AWS, which I'm sure a lot of people have heard of. There's uh, Google Cloud, there's IBM Cloud, and a ton of other ones. The thing is that you can get these certifications in AWS, and I'm pretty sure Google Cloud has certifications as well. So uh, you can get the equivalent of the Azure AZ900 exam in pretty much any cloud service provider. Granted that you, know, you guys do your research and see what jobs are hiring for in your area, see what is in demand, see what pays the highest salary, or see what you work with the most often, or which cloud service provider that you actually like the most. So in my case, my job right now actually requires that we use Azure for pretty much everything that we develop. So it made sense for me to go ahead and study and learn Azure and get the certification because again, it's just part of my work environment. So that's just a little bit of background before I jump into these five things um, about how I think you guys can you know, study, prepare, and just be ready to pass it on the very first attempt. So let's go ahead and jump right into the five things that I think will help you guys out the most. The number one thing that I would do, actually I listed these in order. So I think that it would probably benefit someone who's never used Azure before to actually you know, study for the exam in this order. So the first thing that I have is creating a free Azure account. So if you go to the Azure website, you can simply just you know create a Microsoft email and then you can sign up and create a free Azure account and it'll automatically give you $200 of free Microsoft Azure credits that you can spin up virtual machines and storage accounts and basically just play around with different services and just get a feel for what they do and everything without having to worry about accruing a whole bunch of charges or putting in your debit card information or anything like that. So the first step, I would definitely go to the Azure website and create a free account and just go in there and start exploring stuff and playing around with stuff. You don't even have to necessarily know what everything does because you probably won't, to be honest. So um, don't even try to understand what everything does, but to be honest, just get yourself familiar with the, the user interface. Like go in there and see what the symbols look like for each product and get familiar with that and see what things are named and click around and see what the options are and basically just explore and just play around. That would be my very first tip, step, or recommendation for anybody studying for the AZ900 exam. Just make a free Azure account and go in there and just play around and get familiar and you know, just start seeing what stuff is and what it does. The second tip on this list, what I would do once you guys have created a free Azure account, I would go to YouTube and check out Tim Warner's YouTube channel because he has an incredible, basically series or playlist called the Exam AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamental Study Guide. All right, so that 
is like a 60 video, maybe 70 video playlist where he literally goes through everything that there is on Azure. So you can go watch this playlist from the very first video, watch it all the way through the end. It's very long. It might take you probably, you know, at least two days, but if you watch those videos and you take notes and not don't just passively watch it you have to take notes while you watch the video otherwise a lot of the stuff will just go over your head you won't remember it and you'll have to go back again and continue studying and, and reading and trying to figure out what the same stuff is over and over and over and over and over again so highly recommend that while you guys are actually watching this playlist of videos create a google doc or something and and just actually take notes and actively watch the videos and maybe even use the free azure account to follow along and do some demos and play around with some stuff with the playlist of videos from tim warner so i i super super recommend that you guys watch that and honestly i would watch all of them because yes i i did actually watch all the videos it's uh some of the feedback that i got from other youtubers that i found when i was uh researching how to study basically and I would also second that opinion. I definitely think that it was a great explainer because he also does demos himself where he goes and uses his account and does demos in the Azure portal of what things do. And it is really insightful and really helpful. So if you watch that and you take notes and optionally, but highly recommended that you use your free account with that series of videos and actually follow along and play around with stuff and, and do what he's doing then you'll have a really good foundation in those notes that you have. You'll have a, a great foundation of everything you need to know for the entire exam. So step three. So once you've created your free account, watched the Tim Warner playlist and taken your notes and done some exploring yourself with uh, Azure, the third thing I would do is go read the Microsoft documentation. So obviously there's a ton of stuff on there. So I'm definitely not telling you go read every single page of it. I'm not saying read everything from start to finish, but take the notes that you have from Tim Warner's playlist and the things you don't really understand or the things you're not like 100% sure about, go read Microsoft's documentation on it and just read the documentation on it. And the documentation actually is written in a way that I feel like if you read it, kind of start to finish like you don't have to read the entire thing but just if you really don't know something the microsoft documentation is actually pretty well written in terms of like layman's terms where you can understand it so anything you don't understand right away in your notes i would definitely head over and double check your knowledge with the microsoft documentation because it's microsoft so you can never go wrong with reading their documentation for studying because they're always gonna have the most up-to-date information. If any names change on the services, which has happened in the past, or if anything like that just happens to come up, any changes in like the security or privacy or support policies or anything like that, Microsoft documentation is gonna have the most recent up-to-date stuff. So it wouldn't hurt to study on the Microsoft documentation anyway, but yes, number three is definitely use that to you know go with all the notes and things that you're taking from you know doing your own exploring and watching those tim warner videos so number four is going to be a really big one probably the biggest one is going to be doing practice questions okay so practice questions is what is going to determine whether you pass or fail this exam 100 percent, because the practice exams that you will find online are basically in some way, shape, or form, the exact same questions that are on the exam. So I would highly recommend that you go online and try to find as many practice exam questions for the Azure AZ-900 exam as you can and take them from different websites and take them all and test yourself. And some of the ones that I recommend are examtopics.com because that one is actually free. So. Um, you know, I try to recommend you guys free resources only. However, I, I will have a paid um, resource that I recommend to you guys, and it'll be in the next point, uh, point number five. Examtopics.com, guys, you can go there and you can basically just search for Azure, Azure AZ-900, and you can find pretty much practice questions from the AZ-900 exam, and you can take them. And what's awesome about it is when you get the question wrong, 
it actually will show you an explanation. And then that way you can also use that to add on to your notes and you can compile a list of actual practice ex exam questions that has the explanations and things like that so that you can always just go through your own document of questions and not have to always refer to different websites and things like that. So you can just compile your own list of practice exam questions from these websites you study on and then boom, um, you'll have you know your own sheet to kind of reference from. Okay, so number five guys is another really big one, very, very important, and it's going to be take a practice exam, okay? So after you guys have done all this stuff from before, taking a practice exam is gonna really test your knowledge and show whether or not you're ready to actually pay that 100 bucks and take the exam for real. All right, so for this, I actually did pay $10 for a practice exam resource on testpreptraining.com and on there just like with exam topics you can just search for az900 and for 10 bucks you can get pretty much like 85 to 100 practice exam questions and you can practice taking an exam in two different modes you can take it in exam mode or practice mode and in practice mode if you get the answer wrong then it'll actually show you an explanation just like exam topics and if you take an exam mode, then it's, you know, just like a regular exam and it's always timed, which is great too, because it gives you the same amount of time that you'll have on the actual AZ900 exam. So that is one of the cool things about, you know, paying that little 10 bucks. But again, guys, you don't necessarily have to do it. So once you guys have done all that and you've taken practice exams and you started doing pretty well on it and you start seeing the same kind of questions over and over again and you're getting them right for the most part and you're starting to understand why the answers are what they are and all that good stuff, just continue to go back through that sheet that you guys have at this point of all your practice exam questions and just keep going over and keep going over and keep going over them all the way up until the day of the exam, guys. And um, don't forget like the little things, you know what I mean? The support policies is in the pricing and stuff for Microsoft like all those little things are very very important on the exam because the way that the exam is graded and weighted not all the questions are weighted at the same percentage so some questions are more important than others and there could be more than one correct answer for certain questions as well too so make sure you guys really take your time and go through those practice exam questions and really take those practice exams until you really really understand it and for the most part you're just getting the answers right each time and at that point, I think you're ready to go ahead and pay that 100 bucks, schedule that exam, and then you guys will be ready to go ahead and pass it on the very first attempt. So let me know down in the comment section if this helps you guys out. If you're studying, prepping for any cloud certifications, let me know how you guys did it. I'm super interested. Plus, there's more certifications to get. So I would love any study tips from you guys as well. Make sure you guys also check out the description box down below for that cool bonus I was telling you about. So all that stuff I mentioned with exam topics and testprep I've compiled my own list of notes from Tim Warner's videos, from exam topics, from test prep training. I took all that stuff and made my own documents, guys, that I use study for the exam and I put it in the free private Facebook group that's in the link in the description box down below. And so that's one of the benefits of being in a community like that because I give away a lot of stuff, you know, first there in the in the Facebook group and then I put it out to other people as well and stuff. But for the most part, I'm just trying to help build a community of people who want to learn and get better guys. So go over there, get enrolled in there and grab those resources. So you, don't, you guys don't have to go spend all the time like taking the notes. You can just go watch the videos and take your time just playing with Azure and understand that stuff. And you know, I've already got all the questions and stuff compiled. You don't have to pay 10 bucks. So make sure you guys do that. And in the description box also, there's a link to my free intro to coding bootcamp course where I teach everything I wish I knew going into coding bootcamp. So you guys will do a front end project. You'll start learning back end. So it's a great course. It only costs your email address. So make sure you guys go over there. I know that was a mouthful guys, but thank you for staying with me all the time. If you guys are still here, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me motivated to put these videos out for you guys. This is Darren with Darren the Dab. I'll see you guys next video, all right? Peace.